Hello all, in our previous video we have seen how to create login form, how to create registration form. Now in this video we will see how to create database, how to create tables and also how to connect to the database. Okay now here I am just going to open that one, I will just open localhost php my admin dashboard and inside this first I am just going to create the database. Okay this is our php my admin dashboard, now here I will just click on this new ok here left side you will be having all the databases whatever you have created now here I will just click on new and here I am just going to create the database and here I am just going to give my database name as voting system I will just write here voting system and here I am just going to click on create now once I give this one you can see database voting system has been created successfully now inside this totally I just need 8 fields I will just give here 8 table name I am just going to write here user data or participant data whatever you want you can just write that one once I give this data I will just click on go ok now first field I am just going to give here id second field I am just going to write here username third field I am just going to give here mobile fourth will be password then fifth will be the photo ok because photo also I am just going to insert inside the database then sixth will be standard okay whether the user okay whether the participant is a voter or it is a group okay then here i will be having the status and finally i am going to have votes okay how many votes this particular group is having and status is for whether the user is voted or not okay so for this i am just creating eight fields i am having id username mobile password photo standard status and votes as I told you in the previous session itself, this is for complete beginner levels and I am going to store the data in the complete text format. I am not going to do any hashing, I am not going to encrypt any data. So you should be aware of that one and whenever you are inserting any data that should always be in encrypted format. Okay, now only for teaching purpose and as a beginner level project, I am just going to do like that. Okay, now for this integer, I am just going to come here. Now here I am having this auto increment, I will just click on this auto increment, once I give this one here I will be having this primary key. Now my id field will be primary key. Now for this username I am going to give the data type as varchar and length I am just going to give 100. Then mobile I have just given the type as varchar and length I am just going to give here 20. Then for password I will just give here varchar, length I will just give here ok 200, let me just write here 100. Then photo I am just going to give varchar and length let me just write here 100. Then for standard I am just going to give here enum data type ok enum. I am just going to give this one. Now once I give this one I can select values for that. Now basically I am having two values that is group and voter. Ok so here I will just click on edit enum user. Here I am having edit enum or set values for that one. I will just click on this. Now first I am just going to write here group. Then I am just going to write here voter ok these are the two values I am just going to write. I will just click on enter. Now you can see here I am having this one. Now from here I am just having this comma I am just going to remove that one. Ok now I will just remove this and also I am just going to remove this. I will just click on go. Now once I remove that here I am having group and here I am having voter ok two values I have just added here. Now inside this status I am just going to give integer. I will just give the value as 11 then again for words the data type will be integer and value will be 11 for status I am just going to check if my status is 0 which means that the user is not voted if the status is 1 which means that the user is voted and that user cannot vote again so for that I am just giving the status and votes are nothing but how many votes each group got so for that I am just creating that one ok later on using update query we are going to update this one so you don't have to worry why we are using this states and votes field ok totally we are having 8 fields id field username mobile password photo standard status and votes and for standard I have just given the enum data type and inside that I have just given the two values that is nothing but group and voter now once I select on group this group value will be stored if I select voter this voter value will be stored inside the database now once table is created I will just click on save it is processing once it is getting loaded you can see my table is got created now now inside this table I am having all these fields now you can see after this id field I am having this key which means that my id is primary key now all the things all the data type is been stored here ok now we are going to connect to the database only then we will be able to work inside the database so here inside this 
I'll just control B. Now here I'm just going to create one folder. I'll just write my folder name as actions. Now inside this actions, I'm just going to create one file connect.php. Now inside this file, first let me just write this basic PHP. Now inside this first I have to connect to the database. So for that I just need some variables now. So here I'm just going to create one variable connection and here I'll be writing my SQLI connect. Okay, using this method we can connect to the database. First parameter we have to give our server name that is nothing but localhost. Okay, you can see here localhost we are using we are having this one okay 127.0.0.1. This is nothing but our localhost. Then next we have to give the username. My username is root. Then third parameter is the password. If you have not changed any password, then by default the password will be empty. If you have changed the password, then whatever password you are using, you have to pass that password. If you don't know how to change the password, I have already uploaded the video how to change PHP my admin dashboard password. You can see that one and you can change the password. And here I'm just going to give my password demo123 and fourth parameter is our database name. Okay, whatever database I have created that is nothing but voting system. Let me okay, I can't copy. I'm just going to write this voting system here. I'll just write here voting system. Okay, this four parameters I have to pass. First is a server name, then username, then password, then database name. Then below this I have to check okay if my connection is successful then I should be getting this message connection successful connection successful then else if I am having some error let me just remove this let me just give proper spelling if I am having some error I just want to throw that error so here I will be writing my SQLI error and inside this I am just going to pass this connection variable. If I am having some error, this error will be displayed. I will just copy this file path and here I am just going to paste that one and from here I will just remove this. I will just write here local host. I will enter. Now you can see here I am having connection successful which means that I am successfully connected to the database. Now I can insert the data, delete the data, whatever I want I can do with the database. Okay, now if I just give some other password here, I will save this. I'll refresh this one now you can see here I'll be getting this error access denied for the user and password is s which means that if you get this kind of error you have to check whether you have given the proper password whether you have given the proper database name or root name okay whatever it is you have to give the proper spellings only then it is going to work I'll refresh this one okay now here I'm having connection successful this file I'm going to include in each and every file so each and every time I don't want this to happen I don't want this message should be printed so for that here I'm just telling that if my connection is not successful only then I have to show this error I'll just copy that one and here I'm just going to paste that and from here I'll just remove that I'll come here I'll refresh this one now you can see this page is completely blank which means that I don't have any error and my connection is successful because here I have changed the code if my connection is not successful only then I have to show the error if my connection is successful then I don't have to display anything here I'm getting blank page which means that I'm successfully connected to the database okay now we have seen how to create database how to create tables and also how to connect to the database now we are going to work with the backend how to register the user inside the database okay, that's all for today's tutorial thank you for listening have a great day